what's up guys it's zed here once again and this is episode 2 of the fifa 22 player career mode and we are with conrad zan once again and for some reason i have no idea why this guy's form is bad he has literally scored in almost every match that he has played i think uh four out of six or three out of five i'm not quite sure well it says i've played two matches and scored two goals can you imagine and i am out of form like what what i literally saved this team twice the match against bayern and the match against the other team i think i think that was frankfurt yes it was frankfurt both those matches ended one nil and it was me that scored the goals for the team and for some reason i am in bad form jesus christ like i feel like that objective system is kind of bad because i mean i can literally like help the team however way i can and we win all of our matches but if you don't get those objectives that the manager set for you you are still going to be a shit rated player and i don't even know but i might be wrong because that was just the first episode and this is the second episode so i mean who knows if the objectives are going to be hard or reachable tasks and even though they are easy it's still like makes your focus like it divides your focus like you might want to uh what do they call it i forgot it you might want to like try and help the team the best you can meanwhile you're trying to follow these objectives like get two crosses or get five shots on target or get a pass accuracy blah 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 you get what i'm saying here yeah? so i feel like that objective system i mean it's good but then it's really really distracting and it actually like screws up with your player's form for some reason because i literally have two goals in two games and i'm on bad form like what the hell so with all that being said i'm just going to go into the first match for today which is against this team uh freiburg so i'm just going to sim all the way to here all right we're coming in in the 78th minutes for Malin. so we are playing side by side with holland i think it's the first time we are doing this so two substitutes on at once for borussia dortmund ozan kabak well we scope for them to counter attack here Is this the moment? Well, that surely would have put this game to bed. But the deal has now been confirmed, Stuart. Well, certainly a lot of focus on the boy over the last year or two, and he seems to have a bright future ahead of him. Hopefully it turns out to be a good move and he can continue to develop his career. Well, no stopping him. But quick thinking defensively. Real chance. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Making progress. He's in here. In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper. Zan. Moving forward effectively. And there it is, the final whistle. A satisfying outcome for Borussia Dortmund fans around the world. What did you think of that performance? All right, yep. So that was a very, very good performance. We almost got to an assist, but we buttered it up with a goal and well i think we got two out of the three objectives that we were giving because the last one which was crossing i have no idea so um yeah we played the same position even though we're supposed to play the left striker that's because um something happened to the game when uh i was going to play that first match but i had to like restart it and then we were put in place of rise place of royce rather 
yeah that's it we got two out of the three objectives and i mean i have no idea what it takes to just get out of this sub place because i really really want to stop playing 12 minutes football but we did get the man of the match as well so that is pretty good to see if oh yeah that's pretty good to see actually i think that's our first man of the match award that is our first man of the match award so unless unless i'm forgetting some other time I mean, we really did well for the 12 minutes that we're on in that match so conan zan sorry conrad zan the hero nobody was at the game will nobody who was at the game will forget it in a hurry after all his hard work getting here it was a very special day for conrad zan himself and for everyone connected with eving who the hell is eving is that the manager well the new hero worked tirelessly, tirelessly for the full 19 minutes to earn his man of the match award walking in a conrad zan wonderland sang delighted supporters Ooh, that's that's nice well, we're aware that they've at least found a player who can make the difference in big games. Conrad Zahn's performance was a perfect vindication of the manager's handling of these rising talents. I always knew I'd get a chance here. The player himself said afterwards, I really wanted to repay the manager's faith in me. It's definitely a special day. The manager doesn't have any faith in me, to be honest, because, I mean, we're on bad form, apparently. Apparently, we're on bad form. So, I mean, I know that's not the manager's decision, but still... Next match is against Hoffenheim. We're not going to be playing in this match at all. So we're just going to sim through it. And we get... Oh, we lose. Malin scored. And then Davor and Bruin Larsen scored for TSG Hoffenheim. Well, that's bad. Because I'm pretty sure that if I was in that match, we would have won it. But, I mean, the manager for some reason doesn't like me. Because we're still in the middle of the sub part of this three things on the top left corner. I have no idea what to call the sliders. No, they're not sliders. What am I saying? The rating, I'm still in the middle of the sub level. There's the reserves sub in the middle and the first team, I guess, on the right. So we're still there. So I've three rated us with no playing opportunity. Well, let's just sim all the way to... I have to admit, I'd, ex I'd expected to see more from you. So right now, I can't put you in our starting lineup. Okay, so... I mean, we are getting good performances in our games but for some reason we're not playing well enough is this like some sort of bug or what because i i honestly have no idea why this is happening but whatever this was for the previous match anyway so whatever i'm just going to skip past that and move on with my life so next up is the match against leverkusen and this is going to be so up next is a very huge match for me because that is going to be the first Champions League match in my life. Am I going to be able to score a, score a goal there? Am I going to be the top scorer in the Champions League sometime? I mean, definitely not this season because, well, the manager isn't giving us enough game time to actually come up with, with, the, with the magic to be the top scorer in the Champions League in our first season. I mean, I'm... I'm I'm dreaming real big right now, but I don't care. That's just that's just the goal to become the greatest player. And we have to dream big and work hard in order to achieve that. All right, so we are coming on for Haaland in the 83rd minute. And I'm pretty sure this guy is going to give us like some crazy as objectives to do in the 83rd minute. Which is kind of bullshit if you ask me, but whatever. So we're supposed to get a match rating of 7.0, have a dribble success rate of at least 35 and complete three passes in the opponent's half. Okay, this should be easy enough. We just need to get the... Well, that freak is in the middle of the... Well, even though he's we're not yet at full time, so that, I think we can say, really Stuart, well. that Dortmund have bossed this one. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. He's got the right idea with that pass and just has to remain calm. And top notch as well as brave goalkeeping. Well, he comes off his line at just the right time. He read that brilliantly. Should one. The referee blows. Alright, so this was the easiest set of objectives, but the time was just a little 
to be able to connect to um to complete all of them we only got one out of the two we didn't score any goals so this is the first match we're playing where we don't score a goal so i mean whatever to be honest so it just kind of sucks that I'm not going to be getting promoted or anything because I'm only going to get only one objective. Even though I made some key passes and some idiot decides not to. Whatever. I won't stop there. Yep, so our match rating has... So our manager rating has gone all the way down to that low. So... Whew. And we're so close to level 6, so... Whatever, man. I need to go to a club where I... I'm going to have some play time but next up is the champions league so let's see if we are going to be able to play in that match i really hope so i really 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 hope so and yes we do play in the champions league and we're coming in for royce as a cam let's see what we can do in this match let's get a match rating of 7.0 dribble success rates and a pass success rate of less than 55 percent this should be pretty much easy so come on come on boys we can do this Corner kick played in. Well, that was quality. Last ditch defending. Inside the box. This might be ideal for the counter. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? Oh, a smart save. Cleared away comprehensively. Oh, what's he gone and done? Happy to take on the shot. The crossbar got in the way. So full time it is. And a so our only shot on target got blocked by our own player. So there's that. These kind of things happen. And it's really annoying. I think I was able to get just two out of three objectives. We're able to get to, we're able to, get to the 7.0 match rating. So... I mean, I'm not quite sure about that because I wasn't looking at it at the end there. So let's see if we were able to do that. Nope, 6.5. I mean, I still feel like we did well because we... I don't know. I just feel like we played well, but we, we, we just weren't lucky enough to get a goal from this match or an assist. And we have gone down to the reserves. And we freaking got two out of the three. And we have gone down to the reserves. That is... That is really bad. I mean, although although we have um, gone up in a level, so I mean we can probably work on some skill points right now. That is really bad. We are we are like on reserve level right now. This is <laughs> this is fucked up with so many levels. So let's look at what skills that we can work with. We already have the cheetah archetype, so we do not need all of those. Let's see what we can do with shooting uh which one should i get this one is worth one for volleys this one here is for penalties we don't really need that short power huh this is for heading to be honest i really don't know which one i i need i think i'm i'm going to go with this yeah, I'm going to double it up, but I do not have enough to double it up. How how much was it in the first place? Because I, I could have sworn I had four skill points right now. The three just, like, vanished from nowhere. Anyways, I'm just going to use the last one for this balance. Do I, do, do I need balance? Uh... Oh, what's this? Three star skiller. That's nice. Uh, so, so, what do I need exactly? What do I need? Ball control or attacking position. I think I'm just going to go with ball control here. So, that's what I'm going to use my four skill, um, skill points for, even though I have no idea how two magically vanished. I'm not quite sure it was... Uh, I've been really that I've been really disappointed with what I've seen from you lately. I'm not sure I can count on you as a member of the squad at the moment. Never mind putting you in a certain lineup. I need you to be at your best in training. 
if you're going to win back your place it's about hard work and it's up to you i have to inform you that you're not a part of my plans going forward here at borussia dortmund i have listed you for transfer and i will let you know as when i have accepted an offer for you <laughs> what the hell this this manager just put us on the transfer list and come on like we 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 are literally playing as well as we can and we are already leaving boy shadow know what happened to my champions league dreams just now oh my god i guess i guess i'm going to have to wait another season or maybe maybe some club is going to see that i've actually done some good here and try and buy me some good club rather not some irritating low-level shit club like this that i don't even know where they're going to come from Steph. so whatever man okay so we <laughs> we have received a transfer offer from sc braga wow and they want to pay me eight i mean i can reject right i can reject it's, is, is there a better team that's going to i'm just going to stall for now let's see if there's a better team that's going to want to buy me other than sc freaking braga i mean what country is that it's not like some russian country or, or maybe ukraine i'm not quite sure but i'm really not going to play for sc braga so the borussia dortmund are they going to get the win they they draw if they, if i was in this match we would have freaking won the match that's what i'm saying the this guy does not reach me at all the manager does not rate me at all he he hates me he hates my guts and i'm really really trying so hard to make things work in the big club and mm, i hate this, i hate this right now AC braga bid, bid 13.400 million for zan i mean should i go to AC braga i could go to AC braga but no i'm just going mm, this is annoying this is annoying I do not want to go to SC Braga at all. I have three goals in five matches and we are being put on the... Our freaking form is excellent. Our freaking form is excellent and we are put on the transfer window because the manager hates our guts. He just hates my face for some reason. Because that's the only reason I can think of for him to want to sell me when I'm doing really good for his team. You get? You get me? No, I'm just going to accept the offer from SC Braga and well... I guess I'm going there and then next transfer window so uh i'm glad we we're able to reach an agreement for your move to sc braga you will leave us as soon as the transfer window opens i advise you work hard in the meantime i'm sure your new manager would be delighted by any show of good form ahead of you joining his club my form is freaking excellent bro my form is freaking excellent but you're not going to give me any game time i hope i really hope he does give me game time so that he can see how much he he's going to miss when i leave the club <sighs> Borussia Dortmund were able to win the match. So sad that I I won't be in the Champions League this season. I mean, is see Braga in the Champions League? I'm not quite sure. But it's just the worst thing that could happen to us. I mean, I mean, this guy doesn't even wait us anymore. To be honest. I forgot to do the training, so I'm just going to go back and do that real quick. Oh, I guess that's why my match rating wasn't going up. So he he's putting us in this match. We're coming in as a sub for Royce. So let's see what we can do. Alright, so we're coming in for Marco Royce. And are we going to be able to show the freaking manager that we are... He made a really, really big mistake by selling us. A really, really, really big mistake. And what the hell? What the hell are these jerseys? Why are they clashing? I forgot to change that. Crap. Well, I mean, we did score a goal, so that's that's good, I guess. It's a decent delivery into the box, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. And he clears the danger. Firing it towards goal! Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it.
counter-attacking, very much an option. Oh, big chance! A goal! An exceptional performance, this! Four to the good now! Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, but I think the defending is poor. How can the goal... the final minute of normal time. Daniel Malin. And that will be that. The referee brings this match All to... All right, so I wasn't able to get two of the manager's ratings. The manager's objective this time as well, so I think I'm just, like, falling out of form for the manager although i did really good i got the assist to Haaland. i was not stingy in that opportunity and i gave it to Haaland. and for some reason i'm going to get berated by the manager because i wasn't able to get to 7.0 and i wasn't able to get at least two shots on target but i added to the win that the team got so i mean Again, I'm going to be saying this objective thing is really not that fair because there are a lot of things that, like, see, I'm all the way down to the reserves again. <sighs> you play really well in a match and then you get fucked because you didn't get all the objectives. So that's, that's something that really should be worked on in FIFA 23. Yep, and we are not going to be picked for this match against... Borussia Dortmund, sorry, against FC Augsburg, we draw the match, and again, I keep on saying if I was in that match, we would have won it, because I am very confident that I am good enough to make a difference in that team, but we are not rated at all by our manager, so. We're going to get another chance again, we're coming in the 75th minute, so we have 15 minutes to play this time, and we are coming in for Royce as well, so we're not going to be playing the striking position, which is something I really don't like. Alright, so what's our... our match objectives this time pretty sure it's going to be something that okay it's still 7.0 match rating 35 percent dribble success rate and two shots on targets i mean this one's easy again and we have 15 minutes to do it so hopefully we should be able to do this we should be able to make this work and i hope i really hope we do 15 minutes remaining decent position for Dortmund to be in Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Reina. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, if Dortmund score now, these fans will go absolutely wild. Oh, hang on, Stuart, look at this. What late excitement. And the match is level. Again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Only 10 minutes remaining here. Tension building still level. Must take the lead here. And they do. And with so little time left, that will surely be decisive. Astonishing drama. Well, let's take another look, and there's the deflection. And from that moment on, the keeper had no chance, did he? Holland. And showing fine vision. Anderson Lukoki. Vidra. Now let's see if something comes of this. Can he get one back? He can! And who's to say there's not enough time for them to level matters? It would be quite the story. 
Well, here it is again. And just look how he turns away from his marker and then gets his shot away. That's a very good goal, you have to One say. One minute to be added on. A very good tackle. And there it is. All right, so we just showed the manager why exactly he just made a very huge mistake selling us because we we already belong to SC Browser because we signed it. Everybody has signed it. Everybody was happy. I wasn't happy, but I just had to because the manager for some reason doesn't like me. So I just I just won this game for Borussia Dortmund, and I've I have been winning games for this team ever since I joined. Ever since I joined in from the youth academy, but no, manager doesn't like me. Now I've got thing all to you. All three of his match ratings, let's see what he's going to say. I was supposed to get two shots on target. I swear I was supposed to get two shots on target and I scored two goals. But apparently it's not there. What the hell was that? <laughs> that is that is so crazy. This game is this game is against me. I'm, I'm going to keep saying this game is very, very, very much against me, so at this point, I really don't care anymore. I'm just in the sub part. And I'm going to keep staying there until the manager decides to give me a chance and actually make me, and actually give me something. I just want four extra skill points. I just gain four extra skill points rather. And I'm not going to use those yet. I'm going to like save them up and just like boost all the way to like 78 or something like see if we can do that i'm not quite sure if we can do that but let's just see if we can do it this match we're coming in for malin and that weird reina guy that always keeps messing up my assists is coming in for Haaland. so we're facing club bridge 10 minutes to go or rather nine minutes to go and let's see what we can do in this match we're supposed to get 7.0 match rating get a conversion rate of at least 50 percent and get at least one goal or assist i'm just going to enhance this particular one and well well opting for the short corner the delivery towards the back post and a header goal it is right on cue Let's take another look because it's a well-worked short corner that just changes the angle of the cross and then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper. With... And forward they go, chasing the game. This could level it, but denied by the keeper. And at this late stage of the proceedings, it could be highly significant. Well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. And I think the threat has been averted. Oh, good play, this. This could finish it. And in all likelihood, that is game over. So little time left for a response. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Dahoud. Marco Reus with a through ball. And turned onto the woodwork. And a goal at the second time of asking. But the keeper has let his team down. Well, here's the replay, and this is what you're always told as a kid. Go for the far post, make it difficult for the keeper, and then hope your teammate is ready for any rebound. He does exactly that, and they get their reward. What a good goal that was. The end of the game. All right, that is it. We were able to get the assist and the goal. We almost got a second goal, but we were just stingy, <laughs> really, because I want. I just like get two goals and just prove to the manager that he was wrong for putting us on the transfer window and setting us to SE brother. SE freaking brother. I cannot ever get over that. And for that, Dortmund has officially become my rival once I leave this team. I might have been the man of the match. I might be man of the match. But our conversion rate was on 50. So I think we got all three of the 
objectives i'm not quite sure i'm just going to check that out right now and we did we did get all three of the objectives and we got the fist bump from whoever that was maybe that was hummels i'm not, i'm not sure but this was a good episode other than the fact that we we got completely fucked by the manager and this team i have no idea what that guy's name is but i'm going to do everything i can to make sure that if i ever face dortmund ever in this in, in this series i'm going to completely fuck him up I'm going to completely fuck him up yeah so thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy this video make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video peace